Hey guys, what's up? I'm Captain Turbo, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 1. And this time, we're probably gonna get the Fire Crystal, hopefully, or the Earth Crystal, whichever. Uh, we're still in the Cavern of Earth, so it's probably the Earth Crystal. Um, and we're just gonna finish up this cavern, hopefully, this part. We've been at this a while now, guys. So let's see if we can get out of here and back into the world beyond. Come on. I need to actually heal up my party as well a little bit. So we'll just quickly use a couple potions. Uh, need two for him. She'll be alright for now. He needs one. Uh, head south. Yep, nearly there. I believe this is the way I've got to go anyway. I mean, I know I'm on the right track to get back to where the vampire was, but um, I don't know if this is actually the right way. Yeah, it is because I can't. I need to go to that teleporter to get to the next floor. Yeah, there's actually more floors in this uh, dungeon, guys. I do remember that much. I believe. All right. Zombies are taken care of. Head back north. Right, now we can use that rod we got earlier. So open up the fourth floor. Alright, more of a maze. That's perfect. Just what I wanted. I'm really glad I got a bunch of potions. Alright, take down the... I just say that? Pisco demon? The Pisco demon. Okay. Weird name for a demon, but uh, well. So now those with little ish, uh, little trouble. Don't know where to go. Ha! I blocked it. How'd you like that one? We're getting pretty good gill off these guys as well. Uh, I hope this is the right way. Uh, just use Dire. Like I said, Dire is only... Uh, only cost like 5, so it's worth it to get rid of these guys quicker. And it attacks every enemy on the screen as well, which is really good as well. You know, like, if you're wondering why I don't use fire or anything like that, it's because it only attacks one enemy, and the one that uh, attacks all the other enemies costs like 10 or even more, I believe. But let's check that out. Like, fire obviously only attacks one. That costs like 15 to use. That one only does one as well. Yeah, so these cost 15. Not worth it. Unless, it's, uh, unless you basically have to, to basically save your sanity or something like that. Oh, this could be a bit of an issue. Uh, okay, let's, I can't remember what those guys do. Uh, oh, they bite like a bitch. Especially if you're spiral. Alright, that guy went down fairly easy. I didn't want them to attack that thing, but whatever. Uh, this should be enough. Alright, that's not too bad. Uh, another potion. I'm going through these pretty quick, actually. Um, yep. Alright, we got here. That's pretty good. A staff? Oh, I walked straight into that one, didn't I? Yeah, I, yeah if you go to the side, it looks like you can actually avoid the um, enemy encounter altogether. That's pretty good, actually. I you probably should do that more. Blink, I'm not sure what that does. If I ever get the opportunity to buy it, I'll have a look at what it actually does. I may have already done it, actually. He's regaining health. I don't know why. Uh, Dark that will basically uh, stop you from casting spells. No, it'll um, take down your accuracy, sorry. Power plus. Actually, what does power plus do? Raises strength. Okay. 
use on yeah we'll use it on her yeah I, I'm still I'm okay for thing uh, for the moment yeah, move out of my way move out of my fucking way Oh, a Sphinx. This is a new enemy. I can't wait to beat you. There we go. Uh, some more gill. That's always good. Uh, this will be the last enemy, hopefully. Oh, enemies. Two more uh, Sphinx. Sphinx eye. Sphinxes. What's the plural to, uh, plural to Sphinx? Hmm. Here's a conundrum. Uh, no real de decent loot or anything here. Like I said, I don't actually know my way around, so I'm just going wherever my feet take me, and hopefully that will be the right path. But we got a little bit sidetracked here, and we got quite a bit of guilt there. Alright, uh, just quickly heal up again. This bat's gonna be in my way. This fucking bat's be more of an enemy than the enemies. Because he keeps hitting my way and trapping me in. I really need them to stop attacking Spyro as well. Alright. Taking him down. And my characters are gain gaining levels again. Alright, where are they there? Oh, we get a troll now. Okay. Ooh, I forgot how bad these can, these things can hit. But thankfully, their HP is about what? Yep. Not too difficult for me to take down. Uh, Spiral's caught up, and he's got some decent uh, HP increase there as well. I'm gonna have to buy some more uh, potions when I get out of here. I'm running through these things so quickly here. Might have been a good idea to upgrade my. Um, uh, defenses like my armor and stuff, but I didn't think I'd need it yet. Uh, magic. Actually, I should be fine though. It, we're on the fourth floor. There's five floors to this dungeon, so and as soon as we take on the boss of this area, we can leave here and get back into the open overworld and carry on with the game. This is going to be the final part I do for today, though. Do that tomorrow or later on today if I've got time or something. Right, this must be the way to go. I wish there was a way to lower the encounter rate. Like, uh, I know from playing Final Fantasy recently, you can actually get um, magic to, well, um, an upgrade for your Guardian Force to either half the encounter or actually get rid of it altogether, I believe. So. I wish there was something like that in this. Uh, another branching pathway. I can't stand doing that. Eight hits as well, so obviously Sid is pretty much our heavy hitter of the group. I hope I'm going the right way. This is taking me way over to the west here, so I'm pretty sure that's where I need to go, actually. Look, there's um, the problem with... Um, the cockatrice is that they can pretty much screw you over badly like that. Uh, thankfully though, the chance of them getting all four of my uh, party are pretty low. Problem is I only have a couple of gold needles. I have three. I don't know if I have enough actually, but I don't think I could buy those yet. Well, I'm taking these guys on. I'm just gonna go change. Uh, south. Uh, south. Yeah, I just need to keep heading west apparently, according to game facts. And we're already 10 minutes in, we're not even on the fifth floor yet. Uh, hopefully this is the way I need to go. A troll. 
Is it an internet troll? No, it's not. Right, this thing's HP must be like 200 or something like that. Alright. There's some more items in here. Take down, taking down these ogres are pretty much easy as hell now. I don't know how powerful the hyenodons are really though. If, if I mean like if they have any special effects when they attack you or like chance of paralysis or anything like that. I've uh, got a tent, that's pretty good. Apologize can you hear me tapping the A button, it's basically just to get through the battles quicker, that's all. Unless I'm in like a boss battle or something, or I'm really low on MP during battle, I don't actually need to switch up and like use heal or anything. Or if I'm using Dire to get rid of zombies a bit quicker. And because I'm getting close to the boss now, I want to conserve what MP I have. Oh, we got a Mithril, uh, Mithril shield, so equip that. Oh, that's a lot. Well, not a lot, but it's a much better than the one I have. Need to be a bit more strategic with this, though, to get rid of these guys a bit faster. And they're all going for Spyro as well. That's a pain in the ass. Alright, just... Everyone go for the ogre first. Right, that's fine. And our gill is shooting up tremendously here. Use one. Use two. Use two. And use two. I had 99 of those a few minutes ago. What the hell happened? I'll tell you what happened, I'm not being strategic enough in how I'm playing the game, but oh well, what can you do? I wish I could start going for my weaker, uh, weaker party members. Everyone just attack like hell. Come on. Let's get out of that part, shall we? Right, I think I need to head north slightly. Uh, free ray should be easy. Uh, head northwest. I know I need to be in the west part of the dungeon. I just don't know where exactly. Stick around them and counter so cry out loud. I don't like being in dungeons either because you can't use sleeping bags or tents or anything. I'm gonna have to start using a couple potions again here. Um Only down a half of the potions I bought. That's ridiculous. Alright, uh, hopefully this is the right way. I think it is because it's branching off on its own path here. Why does everyone keep getting the first hit? I must be faster by now. With how high leveled I am, I must be faster than these fucking things. But apparently not. Which is a pain in the ass. Yay, the last cavern. Uh, let's go around and go northeast. Oh, path. Okay. 
uh, just a circle around which I'm guessing means this way it says to go northeast but I can't really go northeast yet Right, we're in the final dungeon, any uh, the final floor anyway, so we're close, guys. We're getting close. That's not the right way. You lied to me, Game Facts. Why you lie? Well, it didn't lie. It just it didn't explain itself. It says uh, circle around. It doesn't actually say which how to circle around. To me, circling around means going all the as far down as you can to the top and around without going through the middle. So I know I need to head northeast. Seriously need to get his defense up somehow. Right, let's go this way. Ooh, these guys are new. Uh, or, or, arch, arch, yeah, that, archer, archer, I don't know how you say it. Just call it a jelly. Jellies and tarantulas, I don't know what these things are weak to. Uh, so we'll use that, uh, hopefully fire. I got rid of the tarantulas. Oh, but they are weak to physical attacks as well, so that's good to know. Unless that was a lucky strike. And Felix gained a level, so that means everyone's going to gain a level soon. Alright, uh, circle around. I'm guessing it means this. Could have explained that a little bit better. Alright. I think this is our... Who speaks to me? Is this our boss? I'm supposed to go know if he's first. Oh yeah, this is our first boss. I will not be disturbed by mortal men. I am the Lich. A Lich? Lich. Fiend of Earth. Alright, this guy is weak to fire and dire. So... Fuck it. Attack him with everything we have. Uh, his HP is uh, at 1,200. Come on, take him down. Yeah, that's what I want to see. Alright, uh... Kiraga Diaga. Yeah, just keep doing this. Uh, we should be fine, actually. I say we've gone down to... Ooh. Alright, I think it's time to start. Um, magic. Restores HP. Yes, that's what I need. Uh, get into... Use another fire aga. Right, hopefully, uh, the only ones I'm worried about here is soon Spyro. So, if I have to, I'll use another heal on the entire party. Oh, and there we go. That was actually easier than I was expecting. Five hundred fifty. Uh, Spyro gained a level. We just took down our first major boss of the game, actually, with relative ease. And we get our first crystal as well. This has been a good day. Uh, this is basically uh, what happens when you um, go into that. It, this was obviously from the first island we're on. This is the portion of the game that's um, exclusive to the Game Boy Advance. I think it's in like the PSP port as well, but that is basically what opens that up. So now you could go into there if you want. We're not going to, as I said. But if you look down there, we obviously have the Earth Crystal, which is yellow brownish for some reason, kind of gold. 
This is the altar of Earth from which the power of Earth flows, uh, flows forth. We want to head through here into the teleporter. That'll send us back outside. Just going to use a quick sleeping bag. Get everyone's HP back. And that, guys, is where I'm going to leave this episode off. We've beaten our first major boss of the game. So we're about a quarter of the way through, technically. We're not doing too bad, actually. Ten parts so far. Uh, doubt I'll be doing any le level grinding between now and the next part. Uh, I have enough guild to last me and get me the stuff I need. So everything seems to be going quite well. A little too well. I'm still waiting for the backlash on all this. <laughs> but anyway, guys, next time we'll carry on with the story. I'm actually going to read ahead to discover where I need to go and what I need to do and stuff because I don't want to have to keep uh, using game facts while I'm playing. I don't like to do that. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And I'll see you some point in the future for more Final Fantasy 1. But until then, guys, good night.